Hi there, students. Docile or malleable? Docility or malleability? Okay, docile and malleable are adjectives. Docility and malleability, these are the nouns of the quality. Okay, let's see. I think these two words, they are close synonyms where both ideas meet and they talk about easy to teach. Yeah, um, but I think they come both come at this from different angles. Let's see, if something is malleable, it's easy to mould. For example, plasticine, this thing, Play-Doh. Play-Doh is very malleable and it changes, changes shape. Clay is very malleable. And I think the primary use of malleable talks about a substance that it's easy to change the form of. Or a metal like lead yeah is very malleable yeah you bang it a little bit and it changes the shape you can bend lead with your hands um whereas docile talks about um a person or an animal that is very quiet yeah that is easy to control okay so um uh, the uh, this dog is very docile it just sits at home okay and then malleable easy to change into a new shape but then we use malleable metaphorically to to saying that it is easy to influence a person it's easy to control them it's easy to train them so that they are they take on a new shape um whereas docile this person they yield they give up they don't react so anybody who's taught a group of children will know that children yes they are malleable but they are far from docile. Yeah, they're running around, they're jumping up and down. So I think if somebody is malleable, it's best that you teach them by example and they learn that, well, obviously this is true and therefore they follow it. Where somebody who is docile, they are submissive. Yes, sir. And um, somebody who's docile, you give them an order and they obey that order and that, and that's really the the difference between the two malleable says easy to change whereas docile says not resistant to change yeah um so for example a law a law would be malleable but it wouldn't be docile a law is only docile if the enforcement of that law is weak. Okay, so I think docile, yielding, um, easy, easy to manage, easy to lead, whereas malleable, easy to change the shape of, capable of being altered or controlled by outside forces or outside influence. So something that's malleable adapts to, to change, whereas someone that's, uh, someone that's docile obeys orders. Okay, so malleable, um, pliable, um, docile, uh, like, like a sheep so if somebody is easily led yeah well maybe they're ma malleable yeah whereas if they're docile they're also easy to lead um but they they don't react to things they um are ready to accept the con out to accept outside control so i think docile compliant obedient dutiful submissive willing to obey passive whereas malleable um susceptible to change pliant pliable uh very plastic yeah um impressionable 
um, uh, um, amenable to change. Whereas somebody who's docile, maybe they don't like it, but they just obey anyway. Um, let's see. As to formality, I think the word malleable, I think I would probably give it 6, 6.5 in formality. You might just use it informally, but I think maybe something like easy, easy to change or flexible. Yeah, whereas docile, I would give a 5.5 in formality, use anywhere. Now, let's look at the origins. Malleable comes from Latin um, malleabilis or maleare, to hammer, to beat with a hammer, from mal malleus, a hammer. So you take a piece of metal and if it's malleable, you hammer it and it changes shape easily. Yeah, this comes from Proto-Indo-European malni, crushing. Whereas docile, this comes from Latin docilis, from docere, to teach. Okay, so, hmm, yeah, um, docile, if somebody is docile, they're easy to teach because they don't give you, don't give you problems. Whereas if somebody is malleable, they accept the instruction or they change readily and easily. Okay, so malleable, capable of being shaped, capable of being formed, able to adjust to the circumstances, adaptable, um, capable of uh, being changed to meet new situations. Whereas docile is yes, sir, yeah, um, they're willing to be taught, they yield, they give up to supervision, they're very tractable. So, I think that's probably enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Malleable versus Docile.